Hello, welcome to the stream, welcome to Coffee Break, the game, which is something I'll be getting to in a moment. A few moments, actually. Let me get rid of all this. So today, I actually have a couple of games that I've never played before, including this, which I think is a game... I mean, based on the title, it says it's a game, so... I've never played it. I don't know what it is. Also, the title of the game up here says Camera Cafe, which is neither coffee nor break, nor the nor game, but whatever. We'll find out what this is in a bit, but in my never-ending quest to play more versions of the Oregon Trail, got a copy of Oregon Trail 3, which doesn't want to work on Windows 7. And it doesn't want to work on Windows 2000. But that's okay, because I think it maybe works on Windows 98. And I mean maybe as in I got it to install and I clicked the button and everything didn't immediately blow up. So I'm assuming it's maybe fine. I don't know. We'll find out. I made sure it kind of worked. Everything else, God knows. So hey, it's 8 o'clock. It's not 8 o'clock, it's 7.59. Damn it. Got 45 seconds. Oh well. Here's your 15 second bathroom break warning. Let me go get all this stuff set up. Also dropping a bunch of frames here. So, hold on. Butts, there we go. Give me a moment. Let me fix this. I didn't really watch much of anything for the past few days, because I have felt like garbage. Uh, I'm feeling not quite 100%, but at least 85-ish. feel mostly normal, but seeing a doctor tomorrow to see if my stomach is really imploding, as it feels like it is. I didn't think people in their young 20s could get ulcers, but I feel like I have one? Maybe? I mean, based on all of the symptoms, it kind of seems like one, but who knows? Let's see. Let's get chatting here. There we go. Oh, it doesn't quite fit. Golden Globes are on. You know, I don't even know what the Golden Globes are for. Is that movie? Is that acting? Like, stage acting? I have no idea. Wake me up when the Golden Wagons are on. I'm rooting for Stephen Meek. There we go. There we go. And... Da -da 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 -da. And captured Windows. There. Got the chat. We got Windows 98. One of these days I will uncheck this, but I kind of like seeing this pop on every time. It makes me think it's a brand new computer. And look, Windows 98 is a brand new exciting world, let me tell you. My desktop meets the internet in some of the best ways possible. Like if you click Windows 98, it opens up a window that doesn't do anything and yells at you. Perfect. Windows 98. Golden Globes are for the best planets. The best Atlas Award. You know, I vaguely remember there being a thing on Windows 98 that, um... What is this? What are these? Did I put these here? It's just the kid's face and... This? I don't... Uh, Tails puts Sonic in the microwave? Oh. Um. Alright, I guess I must have put this on the desktop at one point. I'm just gonna get rid of it now. If I could find out how. Yeah. Close. I, I think that's about right. Uh, let me get the kid out of here. There you go. 
but I vaguely remember there being a thing on Windows 98 that was like a, um, this ever loads. It was like a little channel bar, and I forget what exactly it was or how you got it. It's time to upgrade your browser. Oh, Windows 8. I'm only 90 versions off. Anybody remember what it was called? It was like... Windows 98 Live Channel... I don't know. Live Channel... Thing? Active Channel. That might have been it. Yeah, it was this thingy. I don't know what it did. Because I had dial-up internet, and unless I was connected to AOL... No, I don't want to run Flash. I don't have Flash on this. Unless I was connected to AOL, I had no internet. So, whatever the hell this did, I never knew. It was just sort of there. Operation aborted. I'll never find out kicking old school Microsoft Word 97. Damn it. Oh well. Forget how to turn it on. I vaguely remember doing it once. And never again. Browse? No. Screensaver? No. Appearance? Probably not. Oh wow, I could make it look hideous. Eggplant, everyone's favorite color scheme. You can buy this thousand dollar computer and then make it look like garbage. Lilac. Wow. Storm. By that I mean purple. Purple on gray, you know, like storms often are. Maple. Alright. It's Canada themed. Desert. It's Canada themed, but with blue. Couldn't you have a texture on this at one point? Thought you could. Well, let's not save it. I'll probably just make it look awful and not remember how to put it back. Schedule, synchronize, no. Properties, reset, settings, that, ah, whatever. Let's not click any of these before I break everything irreparably. Also, thank you for subscribing, Bro Rock, Bro Obama. Alright, so. Anyway, I've got a copy of Windows 98 here to play. Let's see if it loads up. Learning something. Learning? Mech? No. Light Dog? No. Who made this game? The Learning Company, yeah. That's not the Amazon Trail. It's the Oregon Trail, third edition. I've never played this, but it works, I think. So let me know if the volume's loud enough. It's the Oregon Trail 3rd Edition Pioneer Adventure. Now with more horseflies. I might need to scale this window, it seems like there's too much blank space around it. So I've never played this. I don't know, oh, sorry. I don't know what the difference is. I know I can bang my desk and it makes a loud noise on the microphone. And as far as I'm aware, we've played the Oregon Trail 1.2, Oregon Trail 2, this will be 3, we've played 4, we've played 5, and I think 5 was the last computer release of Oregon Trail games, and ever since then it's just been like phone or there's a Wii version or a 3DS version, but might have played all the computer games with this one. Needs to be louder. Oh, okay. You got it. And now it doesn't play music. Oh god, what was that? Can you hear the MIDI any better? I don't know anything about this version either. Also, I got an email. Loans for my small business. You could explore new strategies with a small business loan. Wow. Can't wait to get one. All I need is a business. Delete. And I'm dropping frames. Thank you, Exploit. Oh god, I'm dropping a lot of frames. Oops. Uh. Hello? Stream back? Maybe? Uh. Yeah, I don't think it's dropping anymore. Welcome to the wonderful world of residential internet. I think I've encoded at least 
90% of the frames, just ignore that other 10%. It wasn't very good. Yeah, I hear tell us how oh, the God. Oregon territory is plum full of big fat pigs. What is happening? Run around already cooked it. Well, when you're hungry, you just stick your knife in the side and carves off a juicy heart. Am I playing this? <laughs> yeah, you know, if it wasn't for this thing, I'd be going out there to get me a taste. Oh. At ten years, I've been an independence. Is this a game? And back then, it was just a... Few Did I click something? And grog shops and general store. Yep, we had ourselves a quiet, peaceful little town. All right. <laughs> Things different now. So Oregon yeah, has pigs, and here. that's Find why we want to go west. there. I suppose you heard about that Donner party from a yeah, couple yeah. years back. Those folks heard all about the Donner party. Bad luck. First off, it was late getting going on the trail up middle of the summer. I can't tell if this is the game or not. I mean, they were so loaded down, the oxen about busted their guts just pulling them out of town. Oh, but they're fine. Look, I do that all the time. Sure, as eggs is eggs. The Donners Wait, got eggs is in eggs? the mountains and run out of food. Eggs is eggs, I agree. The story around here is that the ones that died ended up getting at by the ones that lived. Those <laughs> Whitmans uh, didn't have much luck neither. You know, these scenes oh, just fit together nice perfectly. The missionaries, there was. <laughs> Narcissa Whitman. What? Uh, she was the first All right, I'm, gonna, woman. I'm just going to hit new game? It, for all I know, this is just the big movie. So, Oregon's got pigs, and the Donner Party was a thing that happened. Based on that, should we be a beginner, a challenger? A challenger? You mean like, it's challenging? You're an inf info, sure. Beginner, you manage the people and supplies. There are no forks in the trail. The program picks the best route for you. Hmm. That doesn't seem fun. I'm dropping frames again. God, my frames. I dropped 1,600. Uh. Expert, says the chat. I'm dropping frames, says XSplit. Well, I guess I'll go with Expert. I mean, I played enough Oregon Trail. I think I could probably do this. All about those forks. Oh, God, it's you again. Oh, it's actually playing now, I think. Hey, who are you? Well, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? You don't have a shadow. Yeah, with all the green you know, vampire passing through here, it's good to see a pioneer that looks like they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I suppose you're fixing to lead a party to Oregon. Uh, did he die? Yes. Yes. Uh, did, did something... Alright, well, that's the end of that conversation. Let me scale the window up. Uh, let's crop, crop, crop. 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 Oops, too much cropping. Crop. There we go. Alright, so, sorry again about the drop frames, but that's just my internet at the moment. If you hang out until 1 or 2 in the morning, I guarantee you it'll probably be more stable. I'm way louder than the game. Alright, let me turn that up. Yes, what do you think? Hey, you know, there's uh, four folks in that covered wagon over there. They're all set to You go should go rob them. it. You need one more person to join them. Are you interested? In so you, you're going over there. Huh? Yeah. I, talk to them. I'm sure they'd love to have a random stranger. Hey. Now there's also quite a few folks that are looking for somebody to organize a wagon party. At. I can do that. Would you like to meet them? Uh, they're in the hotel right over there. Doors open. All right. So, based on this, I think we can go and talk to these people who are currently in a wagon, or we can go here and not have a tooltip pop up. Okay. Well, this joins a wagon. This, I, I don't know what it does. I think he's saying you can go in here and find new people. Possibly. Let's go into the building. Or if you like, I can tell you all about Independence, Missouri. I and the would really Trail. rather you didn't. Are there subtitles? I don't know. 
It says captions. I think they're on. Well now. No. I can see your pr Are they on now? <laughs> you do that. This is the hotel. It is a hotel. Store. Hotel Va. The newspaper office is right over there. Just mosey around all you want. I don't think the subtitle button works. <laughs> do you want the cow to go moo? I do. Let's leave that. What do you Long think? Journey. You don't want a too late a starter. You'll end up like that Donner party. Good luck to you. God, is that all they talk about in the Oregon Trail? What's an educational thing we can talk about? The Donner Party. There. Perfect. Game's done. Here, I hear tell us how the Oregon Territory's plumb oh. full of big fat pigs. God, he just goes. Wow. Already cooked it. Well, when you're hungry, you just sticks your knife in the side and carves off a juicy hunk. <laughs> yeah, just... If you see a pig anywhere, just, just stab it. It's the Oregon way. Thank you, Grandpa. At ten years, I've been an independent. And back then... It was Here's my house. I made it out of garbage. Grog shops and general store. Yep. Dry goods, boots, shoes, groceries. peaceful little town. I eat my groceries out of dry boots. Seems like a whole world is passing through here on their way out west. Yes. Did, did you break? I... His legs are just detaching. The trail's mighty hard. A few years back... This is the game. It's just the movie. There you go. It's like you go to an educational museum and they just play this on a screen. Also, I'm dropping yeah, frames again. That's unfortunate. Tribes of Indians. Sorry about that. Oh, all right, let's go in here. Oh, that's a dude. Can I go into Murphy's? No. Can I go this way? Yes. Oh, I can go to the Fice. I can go to the. No, can't go to the right. I've never played nor heard of Hugo's House of Horror. Hey, you're a dude. In fact, this looks just like the Oregon Trail 4. Doesn't it? Welcome to Independence. Yeah. Timothy Saunders, but just call me Tim. You call me Tim. You got that look in your eye. Head yeah. west, ain't you? Look at another Tim. Well, what can I do you for? You can drop me frames. God damn it, Exfoot. What? What do you want from me? I... Yes. Is there an option to say something? You can do me for boots and shoes. I've never used any other blue brand mics. Let's see. Let's let's go into the Fice. Let's not go into the Fice. Good afternoon. No. I, I've got to find Patrick people Madsen. for the wagon party, I'm a journalist, I think. and I write for the local paper. You may have seen me around town talking with some of the pioneers preparing for their journey out I'm west. telling you, this is exactly the same as Oregon Trail 4, just with different cutscenes. Alright, let's let's go into the hotel. I think I could pick you. Uh, possibly. I, I don't know. It's a fine day to leave for Oregon. I'd like to travel in your party. Alright. My folks had no room for me. My parents wagon, hate me. But I hope to catch up with them along the trail. Somewheres. All right. Can I contract? Do you want to form a wagon? Let's form a wagon. I don't know what this means, but I'm all for signing contracts without reading them. Oh, so I could pick some people. My name, I guess, is Catfish Clark, and I'm a banker. I'm joined. I, maybe no. Oh, I pick people. Alright, so... I'm Catfish Clark. On our wagon, we could have Casey O'Neill, Edward Sternbridge, Helen Whitney, Juliet Sims, Lucy Knox, Randall Morgan, Sarah Danford, or... Theophilus Farnham. Which I don't think is a name. But I'm gonna pick him anyway. I don't know who these people are. This guy never told me his name. Uh, check supplies. 
That looks great to me. Where is alliteration Higginbottom? I don't see anyone yet. I can't scroll. Nope. <laughs> no sunflower quit the game. Yeah, let's pick the nurse. Let's pick only women. Is Theophilus a woman? Is is it a robot from ancient Greece? Like, I, I don't know what this is. Don't be a banker. I could be a banker, a surveyor, a barber, a farmer, a merchant, lawyer, doctor, gunsmith, tailor, or teacher. Regardless of what I pick, my name is still, for now, Oh, please chase that side. Cool. My name is still Catfish Clark. I'm not going to change that, because I don't think I can come up with anything better. It rhymes with T. Teophilus. It's a male name, apparently. Be a lawyer. Be a barber. Be a surveyor. Be a gunsmith. Be a doctor. Be a... There, I can't read your name. Doctor, barber, tailor, lawyer. Be a lawyer, become ace attorney. All right. I should just name myself Phoenix Wright and call it a day. All right, let's take you guys for now. Oh, wait. Uh oh, can I not pick more people? Uh. Oh. Yes, I can. All right, we're, we're fine. Who else is in here? Welcome! You're here to organize a wagon party, Help, I'm stuck on the you? desk! The guests here have been waiting for someone like you. Is she just really small, I'm or is this a massive hotel? A contract. Fill it in with the names of your partners as you choose them. Alright. You can talk with them now. I would love to. Who are they? Are you a guy? Howdy! My name's Morgan. Randall Morgan. I'm not picking him. I make him. my money mostly as a tracker, but I've picked up more than a dollar doing a little bit of just about anything. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna walk away. Hey, you look respectable. Good day. <laughs> I see you are gathering a wagon party. Well, then your timing is fortuitous. For I am looking for a wagon party with whom to travel the trail. <laughs> okay, so we have effectively the hillbilly and the nerd so far. Who else? I don't even know this guy's name. I am not only a prosperous banker and businessman, but most importantly, I'm a crack sharpshooter. I'm a big nerd. <laughs> Because I'm an expert in banking, yeah. you should have no misgivings about placing me in charge of the party's finances and financial dealings along the trail. If you're such a good banker, why aren't you still doing that? Beyond that, I'm a proficient botanist. Yeah. Your decision to choose me seems an obvious one. I, I don't know. I think he's a little too smug. He is $155, Edward Sturbridge. Let's check his supplies. He's got just one ox on him, I, I guess. This man walks around with a pocket watch, a rifle, two rifles, in fact, five winter clothes, a uh, butcher knife. What does he eat? Sardines. That's it. That, that's the only food he has. Eh. Nah. Who else is here? You! Good day. My name is Juliet Sims. I'm a qualified nurse. All right. I grew up on the family farm in Maryland, near our nation's capital. Tell me more about Maryland. I was trained by one of the finest doctors in the East. Can't we just have, like, have average people? Supplies. Why do they all have to be, I'm the friends. best in my class? <laughs> I just want a dude who's just down to earth. It's like, hey, look. I don't know anything about Oregon, but that's okay. We're gonna have a good time. I learned some carpentry from my father. He also taught me how to track animals for the hunt. The ox is a Tamagotchi, and that's why he keeps it in his pocket. I'm an excellent choice for any wagon party. 
I'm just trying to strike up a conversation. I don't want your resume right now. What about inexperienced nurses? What do you have? A lot of aloe vera, a lot of boots, a lot of bucks, a lot of iodine, sassafras. I should probably pick her. Is this Persona 5? Yeah, I have to form a social link with the nurse. Did I talk to you? I talked to you. Did I? Oh, God. You don't fit in at all. In fact, none of this image looks right. It's, here's a blurry JPEG of a lady, a really badly compressed picture of flowers. Can I talk to the flowers? Well, no. hello, Fran. Although I have not had much experience, oh. I have some skill in farming and handling farm animals. I want someone with horses, the Staten Island I accent. Have a good mind for numbers. You don't pick me in your wagon, I'll kick your freaking ass. I am in great haste no to one? reach Oregon. I would urge you not to use my southern tongue oh, or the God. fact that I am a woman to prejudge my potential contribution. This is going to create too many sexual overtones I am on the trail. In spirit and will willingly share my bountiful financial resources when the need arises. Okay, so she just has lots of money. That's it. That's I'm literally educated, it. Agreeable and not above the menial tasks that will be part of the journey. Like Finally, washing the toilets. I have a spirited determination to rejoin my husband out west. Oh, she's taken. $174! It's not that much. What do you even have? A bunch of cloth and some boots. And a grandfather clock! Oh, dude! You're hired. You're hired. You're hired. Let's do it. Oh god, she's- oh jeez, her shoulders. I'm also a linebacker. I'm sorry, but... Look, when there's grandfather clocks at play, you don't reject it. I'm sorry. Let's see. I don't even know who I picked. Uh, do I want... You're back. Mm -hmm. I admire I someone you. who gathers all the necessary information before making a decision. Uh, I just came back to reject you. Let's get out of here. Uh, can I go this way? Can I go up the stairs? No. Over here. I pick the sofa. Oh. There's nobody here. Oh, hey. You're a person. Good day. If you have the time, I will tell you a little about myself. Alright. At home I was a teacher. Ain't no book learning needed on the Oregon Trail. I have completed my 17th year. What, did you get held I back? A, little money. a lot? I know something of the trail and the wild plants that grow along the way, for I have read many books. Yeah, but so did that other nerd. Please, do not think that I will be too frail to withstand the rigors of the journey. Yeah. I lived my childhood years on a farm and can lend my hand to many chores. I can Just the uh, which stand one hand, though. The other one's holding the book. Alright, I am see. eager to begin a new life in Oregon. I hope you will choose me to be your traveling companion. Uh, I can't spit in the spittoon. Immersion ruined. Hundred one dollars. That's it. That's all you have. <laughs> Hundred one dollars, some clothes and some boots. You don't have any money or any stuff. Why would I pick you? And now I'm back to looking at you. Anyone here? I've already been in the fice. I can't pick you. Good afternoon. My name is Patrick Matson. Is that a picture of James K. Polk in the background? Paper. You may have seen me around town Beethoven talking to some with of the, the pioneers mullet. preparing for their journey out west. Can I pick you? A person's character is important. Choose your traveling like you. companions carefully. You look your like a bookie at the racetrack. I think that Lanford W. Hastings should be thrown in jail I, I don't know for advocating that, is. that shortcut to California in his guidebook. Yeah. A shortcut that he himself had never explored. Look at my furnace. The Donner Party tried Hastings' shortcut, and less than half of them survived. Yeah, that's pretty good. By the time the rest were recovered by search parties, many of them had gone mad. 
Yes. I. Is that? Are you just gonna stay like that? All right. I don't know. I was a student of the law back east. Yeah. It can be argued that Lanford W. Hastings is legally liable for what happened to those desperate people trapped in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. What a tragedy. Wait, are you going to join my wagon party or... Can you imagine oh, God. what the Donner Party went through? He just goes. Crossing the grassless salt desert. Abandoning their precious animals that one by one dropped from exhaustion and starvation. I took an acting class in high school once. Finally reaching the Sierras, only to find the passes blocked by snow and impossible to traverse. So, are are you being stranded? Are you there coming in my wagon? Winter, are you just with inadequate shelter, th no? dwindling supplies, watching as members of their party uh, weaken and perish from illness. They got so hunger, hungry they had to eat the stars off the flag, forcing some who remained to resort to cannibalism. In order to survive. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? You know. Oh God, he's just. He Please, D do you join my wagon or do you just go? And left Lanford W. Hastings to his fate. Forty-two members of the Donner Party might still be alive today. Okay. Goodbye. Wait, that was it. And good luck with your preparations. Gonna reimburse me for my time or anything? No. Uh, Oh no, not again. Okay, let's go back in the hotel. I will find people to take with me. Let's take the painting. Let's not. Ah, uh, well. I probably should take the nurse. I'm glad to see you again. Are you ready to choose me now? With all the perils along the trail, you'll need a nurse. I am a nurse? Sure. Oh, wait, I can't... How do I pick her? I... Yes. I will pick you. Do you say anything about that? Is it like a... You did a good job picking me? No? Nothing? Oh. Well, she's just there. Wait, go back. I'm not done picking people. I'm gonna go pick the insufferable nerd. Where is he? Also, give me a minute, gotta mute the mic to blow my nose because I'm a little bit sick still. Choose Theopolis. I don't know where he is. Is he Theopolis? You're back. Oh, yes. I admire someone who gathers all the necessary information before making a decision. Fine. I'll I... take you. I, I don't know what you are, who your because... name is, but I'll take you. Beyond that, I'll take I'm a you. Efficient botanist. Your decision to choose me seems an obvious one. I've read this book at least twice. Edward Sturbridge. All right, fine. Very well. <laughs> Let me gather my things, and we can be on our way. I'll make sure you die first. All right, where is Edward Theostopopoulos? Hmm, is he out here? You're not Edward. Well, you're Are you? back. I was wondering if you'd be by with some news for me. Uh, news is don't talk to me. Let's go. He's the carpenter. Is he in here? Have I seen everything? Well, good to see you again. Did you finally realize that I'm the best choice to go with you? I thought you were the same guy in the front, actually. You getting them wilds gonna need me. All right. I heard things. Beasts I, and outlaws that'll hunt you down too. and then tear flesh from your bones. Well, I ain't seen either. But I'll tell you mm. now, I'll whoop the both of them. I can track them. Hunt them. I know the river. But just one? I've had all the plants from wild pie plant to gooseberries a man can eat. And those them you can't. Wild pie plant. Please tell me that's a real thing. Heard tell is them rivers ain't like ours. Instead of water, they flow with the gold. Oh, God, I don't Tiny want you. Gold. I got me the tools to scoop it all up. Gonna get rich. And you too, if you want. I don't know anything. 
Randall Morgan check supplies he has 11 pounds of bacon just in his bag you know $89 some bullets and in his messenger bag is just 11 pounds of bacon can I go upstairs I don't think so it's not giving me the option I already talked to you I don't know what this is I went in the door I went in the door I went here I I talk to you. I can't go up. Oh, hey! Greetings. More people. My name is Lucy Knox. Newspapers are my business. All right. I like to say I never met a story I didn't like. You know, I need a good newspaper writer on the Oregon Trail. I have read several guidebooks about the trail and All even right. published an article written by an early emigrant. I published one article. So I I'm an accomplished author. I know a thing author. or two about what we can expect en route to Oregon. I am a good person to have in your wagon. All right. Did I tell you I am learned in the art of medicine? Oh, that's good. I mean, I, can I already have a nurse, a though. Limb, apply a tourniquet, and administer herbs. Yeah, I know what you mean. I am also a capable midwife. Oh and man, that's in great. Case I get pregnant, I gotta worry about that. A sick bovine as well. Yo hablo español. I speak Spanish. Oh, is that what that means? I learned the language as a youth, working alongside Esperanzo, a Mexican laborer in my family's store. Well, that'll be handy. I am prepared to work hard on the trail. Okay. Though I've never put much mind to womanly endeavors, I can cook and stitch. Well, I guess she said her piece. What do you say? Oh God! Oh, oh. Wait, did you just step on my oxen Good skull? Here. My name's Casey O'Neill. I'm looking to go to Oregon with someone after me own heart. Me. Will you take a strong, hard-working Irishman in your wagon? I'm after your heart. Let's get married. I'll crush my skull, though. If it's a butcher or a blacksmith you'd be wanting, then I'm your man. For I can do both, and I can even turn me hand to a bit of sewing when there's a need. Although why do I need her? He can do everything. Is it I'm a bit lanky, you'd be thinking? Not really. Well, look fine to me. I'm as strong as any man here, and I'd like to see the man who says I'm not. <laughs> sure, it's a fine asset. She's I would gonna beat to me company. up. Boy, I could get out me fiddle and play a few jigs whenever spirits yes, need a Yes, okay. Lifting. I'm taking you. Father O'Leary said I need as many jigs as I can get. The whole of County Kerry. Oh, what's an Irish name? O'Leary. Perfect. Let's go with that. He's a butcher, technically. He's got butcher knives, money, one ox, potatoes. Of course he does. What else would the Irish guy have if not... 220 pounds of potatoes. You're hired. Did do you, do you say anything? I picked you. Are you on the contract? You're on the contract. So... He was... Theophilus... Farnum. I didn't know that. How many people can I pick? I think... Okay, four people. I can pick four people and myself. Catfish Clark, Esquire, a lawyer, apparently. I can leave in April, March, or May. I'll leave it on April for now. And I guess that's about it. I didn't really like most of the other people. So, do you think this is a good enough match. We've got the nurse lady, the big nerd, uh, I forgot who, oh, Helen Whitney, the really wit or really rich lady, and the Irish guy. Is that good? Who's Casey? Oh, wait, he's Casey! Wait, then who's Theophilus Farnham? Wait, wait, hang on, I screwed this up. Are you Theophilus? Well, you're back. I don't even know anymore. I was Whatever. I'm out of here. Be by with some news for me. Yes. Let's go. Casey O'Neill. I screwed that up. 
Don't worry. Taking care of it. There. Timothy Saunders, but just call me Tim. What about my welcome? You got that look in your eye, heading west, ain't you? Well, what can I do you for? What is your hair? It's like a big shoe print. I have Casey. I have him now. Look, the chat is super behind. I can tell. I have him now. I got it. Land. Let's buy this hanging thing. Let's see. How much money do I have? 430 bucks. Wait, do I even have a wagon yet? How can I find out? Uh... Guidebook. What's this? Food. No. Supplies. That's a good sound. Yeah. My diary. Where is my wagon? Do I have one? I have no idea. Uh, I feel like I should buy one first, but I, I can't. I, I guess I have one. I probably. Control I for inventory, you say? No. Nice try. Okay, let's see. Wagon parts. Can I buy a wagon? No. Aw. Oh. One wagon, please. Wagon covers, wagon vinegar, wagon tent, wagon tea. Hmm. I have no idea where you get a wagon, and I don't know how much a wagon costs. I have a wagon, apparently. Buy supplies and let's go. All right, let's get some animals. Let's get, oh, we have eight oxen. Let's make it an even 10. Let's go for food. Let's see. Uh, bacon. Oh, this will take a while, won't it? 150 pounds of bacon. 25, eh, 50 pounds of biscuits. You never know when you'll need five pounds of butter. Or one pound of candy. I need extra parts. Go to the wagon store. I, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let's get some celery. Let's get some cheese. Let's get some peanut butter and some raisins and make ants on a log and pretend it's kindergarten. Coffee beans, of course. Wouldn't be the Oregon Trail without free coffee. I have two oxen. Oh, wait. Am I just reading everything incorrectly? Oh! You have... Zero? I... I... Um... Eh, good enough. I, I will probably figure this out. It'll work out. It'll work out. Uh... That's still there. Let's get some crackers. Let's get some beans. Yeah, 100 pounds of beans. I can't read. It's tragic. That's why I need a good Oregon Trail wagon party, or else I will be totally lost. Let's get some ham. Let's get a lot of ham. This is the first time we've done this version of the Oregon Trail. It is. Never played this one before, but it's kind of similar to the Oregon Trail 4. Which makes it seem like they only really made two different versions of the Oregon Trail and just re-released them over and over. Does this game have music? Well, I can tell you it has three different discs. So, there's gotta be music on one of them, right? Let's get some lard, let's get some pickles. I will buy all of your pickles. Clothes. I'll get clothes. Let's get some rhubarb, some rice. Furniture. Another grandfather clock. There goes all the money. Tools. Uh, I think we have most of these. Because the dudes I'm bringing along have things. And clothing. 
I'm bringing along five people, and they all have their own inventories, which makes me think I could probably take their stuff or rob them in the night. I need all the ingredients for trail mix. Let's get some bonnets, some boots, some hats, some long undies, some mittens, some clothing? Nah, let's make my own set of clothing. Some shoes, some socks, some coats, some scarves, put it all together, you might have an outfit. Actually, these coats are too much money. We'll buy one coat. And if it gets too cold, you can just pass it around. Am I dropping frames? I am. I'm dropping a lot of frames. Uh... Like... A lot. Uh... Huh. Well... Sorry about that. I don't know, internet's been acting up. That's not a very good lag, is it? Hmm. Bye, internet. I'll miss you. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming once it's nine, ten o'clock, people will stop using the internet in our little neighborhood and everything will smooth itself out. I don't know. Let's buy this. All right. Let me get rid of this. Just uh, sorry about the quality issues. It'll sort itself out. Probably. All right. So, I bought stuff. I bought clothing. I bought food. I bought oxen. I might uh, maybe have a wagon. How do I find out? How do I go? I yes. Okay, everything has been sorted as I drop a bunch of frames. I've dropped now 4,900 frames. I don't know what's taking up the internet here. That is weird. Keep the dropped counter over top of the chat. I can't really because it moves. Like as it encodes more frames, the dropped frame thing sort of moves itself. I mean, I, I guess I sort of can, but... Now you can know I'm dropping a load of frames. I did it. So, welcome to the wonderful wagon adventures of Catfish Clark Esquire. I didn't make these names. They just came with the game. We've got Casey O'Neill, Edward Sturbridge, Helen Whitney, and Juliet Sims. I accept. I, Catfish Clark Esquire, am leaving Independence with these people. Very official document, April 1st. Joke's on me. Okay, well, I guess I can't. Oh, I can nickname them! Oh, dude! Team Red? Team Blue? Team Pink? Team Green? There we go. It's just like the old days, except for the fact that I need to move this and crop a little less off the bottom to fit the organ shack thingy. Uh, organ, 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 organ. Organ chat, organ chat. There we go. All right, guys. As it says, change your color in the chat to either red, blue, green, or pink, and you too can join in the game. God knows how it's gonna work, because these people are actual people, but for now, Team Red is Casey O'Neill, you can be the Irishman, Team Blue is the big nerd, Juliet Sims is the nurse, Team Green, and Helen Whitney is Team I have a lot of money and I don't do anything with it, lady. So there you go.
How much can I more? Can I put more in my name? Oh, no, not really. Esquire. Dr. Catfish Clark Esquire FFF. MD. Oh, I can't put in an M, but I could put in a D. M. That's it. Yeah, that's good enough. The third. The second. Dr. Catfish Clark Esquire the second is ready with Team Red, Team Irish Guy, Team Blue, Team Nerd, Team Pink, Team Rich Lady, and Team Green, Team Juliet Sims Nurse Lady thing. Independence. Brought to you by Microsoft PowerPoint. Well, I don't know if I have a wagon, but I might. No one told me to buy one. I'm assuming it just sort of came here. Ready to go. Uh, is, is this a joke? I didn't even play the game. I, I didn't do anything yet. How do I have to put the disc in? Alright, alright, I, I could do this. Just give me a moment. I got it right here. Here you go. I... Oh, hey, there we go. Here's a picture of things. I I don't know if I'm actually playing. I, is something happening? I don't actually know. Oh, we've encountered some rogue clip art on the trail. Do you want to forge through the river? Or find another path, or wait for conditions to improve. I... I don't actually know what the problem is here, like... Flooded... wait, flooded trail. Well, this part's not flooded, just go here. Like, do we have to cross? I... And also this, radi this lady has, like, robot arms, they're just on a hinge. I... I don't... I don't know. I guess I'll try to find another path. You couldn't find another path. Oh, well. That's not an option. I afford it. I, I don't really know if I'm doing anything. Here's a picture. Everyone's in excellent health except for Buffalo Stampede. Well, I, uh... I guess we're going hunting. I can't ask anybody, and there's a fly here, so... Go hunting! Going hunting! Oh god! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I shot the gun twice! Uh, I didn't buy any salt, I can't rub it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I should not be trusted with a gun of any kind. You know, the Second Amendment is all about the right to bear arms, except for me. Uh... Did I... Like, how did I shoot myself, though? I shoot myself in the butt? Or... I guess I'll... Clean and dress the wound? I mean, I kind of want to do this and this, but I don't have a choice. And clean and dress, I, I guess... Mm. Everyone's in excellent health, except for Team Blue. Are we moving? I guess we're moving. Team Blue, apparently, accidentally shot themselves, according to the game. So, it wasn't my fault this time. It was you, Team Blue. You guys did it. You shot yourselves in the butt. Or I accidentally shot you in the butt. Check river conditions, sure. It might be difficult to cross this river. Let's look around. Yep, that's... What is this? I could turn my butter into rat poison. I'd love to. I do not want to trade with you. But if that will get you to go away from our country, I will do it. <laughs> Can you say that again? I do not want to trade with you. I do not want to trade with you. you. From our country... I will do it. Alright, well, I didn't know they had trading robots in the uh, 19th century. 
I will trade, I don't know, do you have any grandfather clocks? I do not want to trade with you. Let's trade. Pounds of meat, pounds of vegetables. I don't really need any of this. I do not want to trade with you. What a so jerk. That will get you to go away from our country. I am Brian Fox. Do it. A Some people call us Kanza, but we prefer Ka. What more do you want to know? Did you buy your Native American outfit at a costume shop? Uh, I, are you stuck? D do you need a minute? Um. All right. Well, I, I broke the Native American. He, he is dead. All right. Well, I probably should just forward this. Yeah, I um let let's just go. Yeah, please insert disc one twenty. Guess I'm cocking it. Oh I can take the ferry. Da 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 It's like I'm really there. Here's a picture of Buffalo. Here's Team Blue. They still shot themselves. Let's go hunting. Oh, this is marginally better. Yeah. Oh, of course I'm shooting myself accidentally. I'm holding the gun like this. I'm not even pointing it at the animals. Oh, God, what? How? How does this keep happening? Um. Oops. Also shot Team Red. Just letting you know. Team Red and Blue have seen better days. Alcove Spring. Here's a photo that doesn't fit in with this game at all. I, I don't know, I guess we'll rest here. <laughs> I'll rest so I don't kill anyone else. Three days. Cancel or... Oh, there's... Oh god, we just spawned a grandma. You ladies who may be without... Who you call a lady? Stay strong in the faith that this journey that calls you west is not just one of relocation, but one of destiny. What are you trying to say, ma'am? There exists one right man for every woman. All right. And one right woman for every man. What about gay people? I don't think of anybody, do you? Oh, you don't even say anything. Where's your rebuttal to that? You don't have one. God. Well, I think I rested. I don't know if that was three days. I, nothing really happened. Let's rest here again. I wonder if she comes back. No, nope, she turns into a guy. Hey. Isn't it grand now to be having a bit of a party? Th there's no one Should here. Should I be playing a jig to get your toes a tapping? Or would you like to hear a sweet Irish ballad? Or a love song for the ladies? Ooh. <laughs> What's it to be now? Your video's covering up my wheel. Ah, sure, I'll play a jig then. I, uh, but first, I, I must have a drop of something to wet me lips. Mmm, empty cup. It's ready, I am now. Please actually play something. No. Alright, so everyone's got two bits of dialogue, and after that, they're done. Who else is here? I'm gonna rest. I mean,. Team Red and Blue still suffering from accidental gunshots. Let's give them another day. Hey, I'm just gonna poke things with my stick. I find people's griping about their yearning for family from which they have separated a bit tiresome. <laughs> Screw your emotions. As for me, I have I no find friends. Solace in being alone for a change. I poke my I'm family to death with this stick. Others with my emotional longings. <laughs> Beep a boop. What is humanity? Oh, out of words. I wish I could see what everyone has to say without resting every day. Oh, it's just you again. Alright. Yep, seeing it all. What's the river? Four feet. It would be dangerous. Alright. 
Big Blue River, it's F0. God, if only. Uh, I guess we're cocking it. Going to the river. Go oh god, I'm moving this! Why, why do I have an I button? What does this do? Where am I going? But it's just... Oh no! <laughs> Wait, this isn't going right at all! <laughs> what? This way. Oh, 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 I'm not doing that. Straight, straight, please go straight. That's not going straight, it's going to the right! Alright, well we're fine. I think. Here's a fire button. Circle the wagon. Turns into this man, never mind. I don't know if there's a time travel button on this. Hey, we're almost at the Narrows. Let's go hunting. Ideally, let's not shoot anyone in the process. Yeah. Take that, nature. Whoops. Ah. Is that it? That's all the nature. Oh, more nature! Ugh. Using up all my golf balls. Uh, is anything else here? Nope, that looks like it. You shot. Space. 352 pounds of game. Okay. Yes, I've been dropping a bunch of frames. I'm sorry about that. What's this do? Check supplies. Eh, we're probably fine. The Narrows. Let's rest for a day. Oh, it's just this guy. Oh, no, he says new the things. The more disarming the approaching trader, the higher the likelihood that he is unscrupulous. Gasp. The rest of you stick to your mundane chores. <laughs> I'll handle any trading that needs to take place. I'll handle the stick. If I meet a bad trader, I will poke him to death. Well, that was great news. Let's go. How's everyone doing on health? Team Blue is still bleeding out. About a week from this accidental gunshot. Other than that, we're fine. Why don't I use OBS? Oh, the Oregon Chat is covering the bottom of the game. You're totally right. Good call. I didn't notice that. Eh, there's a little bit that's still there. Good enough. I'll pretend the little bits of white on the bottom are just there for effect. Can I keep more than 200 pounds? I have no idea. It might have let me. What's in here? Hey! What do you think about things? That's a very sassy farmer. Howdy, pilgrim! Oh. Hattie Caulfield's name. That's a lady. I reckon you done took me for a man when you first laid eyes on me. It's true. Well, look again. I ain't no hairy-faced fella. Oh. Of course, I ain't no gusset-up, bonnet-wearing, pie-making female, neither. Stick to the I script! I just am what I am, and you can take it or leave it. That... None of those are words. I'll tell you true, though. The trail ahead of you ain't gonna be easy. All right. Let's just say that if you thought the trail behind you was a bear, you're I... about to meet its mama. Actually, we've been doing fine, aside from the few times I shot everyone. No, you done talking? Yep. I'll trade with you, Pilgrim. Thanks. <laughs> I will trade you. $122 for... oh, I don't know. Where are my dollars? I wonder if this game will let me trade... Do I have dollars? Do I just have straight money in this? I was curious to see if it would let me trade less money for more money, but I don't have any money to trade with. Hmm... Where are my biscuits? I'm just wondering how well this is made. Say I want... I bought biscuits, didn't I? Oh, somebody wanted to know if you can carry back more than 200 pounds of meat. Answer is yes, you can. I don't have any biscuits. I guess I ate them all. Either that or I passed by them on the list. Nope, got nothing. Uh... 
I will trade you one sack of gunpowder. Two sacks of gunpowder. No thanks. All right. That yeah, was worth a try. Fine. I don't want anything from you. Do I want... Wait, <laughs> is this just a pig? Is, is this supposed to be a real pig? Or like a wax statue of a pig? Welcome to Fort Kearney. Lieutenant Amos Wilson at your service. Talk to me. Fort Kearney's brand new. Look at our shiny he pig. It a couple of months ago. Or then, overlanders had to travel almost 600 miles before they came to a trading post. Yes. You have a Back head like Lex Luthor. My legs. I had my sights set on becoming a major or a colonel. Lead my own. Or a major colonel in the Indian War. Now, yes. I'm just happy to be a lieutenant here at Fort Carney. Yeah, we call them Getting cashiers. Here to help out folks like yourself. Have I stopped dropping frames, by the way? I haven't paid attention. All right. Oh, he's got official business to attend to, which is so official he's not even going to read this. Let's get out of here. Let's well, let's rest one day. I don't want to annoy you with my complaints. Oh, no, it's okay. This diet we must endure lacks so in variety and palatability. <laughs> well, just stay oh, home. How I long for one more lingering picnic like those I enjoyed as a child. Look, man, life sucks and then you die. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. Mm, a soft patch of lush grass bathed in a pleasant sun look we got a mud and wagons take your pick succulent and exotic fruits dirt mm. it's a fruit if only i could close my eyes and make this meal so i could wish for world peace or a whole bunch of things but no exotic fruits oh god what <laughs> i talked to this lady so long now i have cholera oh oops I don't... well, that happened. Um... Well, uh... I don't really have a whole lot of choices. I could soak whomever is sick in Epsom salt water, which might help. I mean, this guy looks totally pissed about having cholera. I don't think honking is a choice. Hang on, my thing's flashing. Oh, my thing is flashing because my thing keeps disconnecting. Uh, I... I guess I'll soak in warm Epsom salt water. Fine. Yeah, the grandmother's contagious. Did that help? Team Red's got cholera. Team Blue's in very good condition. Pink and green, never been sick. Yes, I made fun of her exotic fruits and she cast the spell on me. Also, here's a picture from the 1900s. Here's water. Here's a guy stepping in water. It's a metaphor, probably. Uh, go hunting. Yeah, sure. Hope I don't shoot myself in the face again. Oops. How does this keep happening? I mean, you point the gun at the thing you want to kill. You don't point it at yourself or your friend. I mean... Do we have like a party full of Dick Cheney's or something? How does this keep happening? Clean and dress, I, I guess? I... Team Pink got shot this time. Again? I, I've never shot myself as much in the Oregon Trail as I have in this version. How does this keep... Uh, O'Fallon's bluffs. Uh, let's rest. For a day. What do you think about shooting yourself? Well, I tell you a story of the prettiest town in the whole of Ireland. Did they shoot themselves a town there too. Cradled by mountains and crowned with the brightest rainbows you'll ever see. It also doesn't exist. A town where the salmon leap out of the river straight into the frying pan. Alaska. Where the cows give fifty gallons of milk every day, and the milk is as sweet as honey. Christ, aren't I the foolish man to leave a place like that now? But at least you're in America, land of accidental gunshots. But it is the giants you should be hearing about. 
On moonlit nights, there'd be the devil of a noise as devil. those giants broke each other's skulls. I, wh- and in the mornings, just where is a story pile going? of bones would be found where someone's poor cow had stood a few hours before. Yes. I. Is, is that the end of the story? <laughs> I think I missed a piece there. Oh, all right. Well, let's go. Team Pink's in fair condition. Team Red still got cholera. Here's a picture of water, just in case you forgot what it looked like. That's a horse, I think. And Team Red's in excellent shape now. Got over their cholera. Morale is high. Morale is high, despite the fact I shot red, blue, and pink accidentally while hunting. Let's see. Bad cold. Oh, pfft, whatever. I'm really confused by this lady's arm. I, I don't understand where it's pointing. Well, I, I guess we'll increase fluid intake. That seems like the only reasonable thing to do. I need to let the gun reload first. Oh. Fluid it is. Here's a picture of a deer. Here's the South Platte River. I... Guess I'll check the conditions. It would be dangerous to cross this river. Well, we're gonna do it anyway. However, I need to go and use the bathroom briefly. So give me one moment. Be right back. We'll cross the South Platte River in just a moment. Don't go away. Hopefully, I'll stop dropping frames. Give me a moment. I'll just run a quick commercial as I'm in the bathroom. I'll be right back, and we'll cross the South Platte River then, and maybe Team Pink will get over their fakey gunshot wound. Don't go away. Alright, hello. Back at the South Platte River. Still says it's very dangerous. Let's look around. Why not? Uh, you're the only guy here. Uh, you, you gonna read that? What are you looking at? The name's Jack. Oh no! It's Nasty Jack. Last names ain't important. It's Jack, comma, Nasty. Did you happen to see an old buddy of mine? Oh. A lawman named Rufus Reeves. <laughs> Did you not read the other lines? Well, if you do bump into him, you haven't seen me. It's Nasty Jack! <laughs> I want to surprise him. <laughs> Take my advice, friend. You want to stay out of trouble. Keep your eyes on the road ahead of you. I'm your biggest fan, Nasty Jack. Come calling, you keep your mouth shut. Oh, okay. Do you, do you have anything else to say? I, I can't tell if the game is broken or if it's just done reading. Can I take the drop frame counter off? I think it's mostly done dropping frames now. Around 8 o'clock, 8 to 9 is like the highest period of network instability in this neighborhood. Shoot him. Sure, I'll trade. 
I got a few things fell off the back of a wagon you might be interested in. I killed a man and took eight hundred forty-nine dollars. Did a grandfather clock fall off the back of a wagon by chance? No, it didn't. Uh, he doesn't have any grandfather clocks. I don't want this. Yeah, you go to trade with Nasty Jack, you have to put disc three in. Take Nasty Jack hunting. I should be able to recruit him into my party. Uh, I don't have any money, though. I don't really need anything. See you later, Nasty Jack. Let's ford the river. Yay. Full motion video brought to you by Sega Cito. Wait, that was it? We didn't even get across. It just cut it off there. Did we die? Am I dead? Like, uh, What's around the California hill? What's the joke about grandfather clocks? Well, if you buy a grandfather clock, you will never die. Instant you lose the grandfather clocks, the run goes to hell. So never lose a grandfather clock. Oh no! No, 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 no! No, Windows 98, don't! You can't! I wanted to... Oh. Oh no. Oh. Windows, no! You can't. You can't do this to me. We were so close. I... Oh. Oh. Oh, well. I knew running into Nasty Jack was illegal. Did it anyway. I, I guess I'll load it up again. Maybe. Uh, I didn't... I didn't save it. Did, oh. Wait, what? I didn't... I don't have saves at any of these places. I... What, what is this? I, I don't know. What's untitled? Wait, wait... Wait... Where are we? Gold Eye Gabby? What are all of these files? Wait, go back. Hang on, I throw game away. <laughs> throw it away, I don't want it. Give me a moment. I... No, but we don't have an autosave. Because the Dows is at the very end, so... There, there is no autosave. Because we were never here. Low to the latest untitled. Okay. It's where the first one is, with the same people. I don't know what any of these files are. Uh, I gotta make room for another icon. Uh, well, we were at Fort Kearney. We were here. We passed this, at least. Let's just pretend. Ready to go with Gold Eye Gabby. I, that's me now. Sally Goldsmith, Jeff Goldsmith, Sarah Danford, and Juliet Sims, which I guess is Team Red, Blue, Green, and Pink? I have no idea. But at least we don't have to start over completely. It's raining. In case you've never seen rain, it looks like this. It's raining. This is water. The product of rain. I I have no idea what these saves are from. Also, I don't I don't think there's music on this. Who are you? Uh this sound? Hello? My dear Ma and Pa, every morning we milk our Missy. But there's never time to churn before setting out. Never time to save, either. 
check the grandfather I clocks. That's I true. The extra milk in a pail I should. And hang it off the back of the wagon. The jostling on the bumpy trail will make a little butter by the end of the day. I'll pour the extra milk off in a street corner to mourn the loss of our save. A little butter on the table sure lifts the spirit. Signed, Paula Dean. That's it. That's it. Butter. Eat it. Oops! <laughs> it's crying. The, the ox is just crying. I didn't... Um... Okay. That's a thing they do, I guess. It's a different file completely, but I never played this game before, so I don't know where it's from. Ah, uh, whatever. How much stuff do we have? Where's my- oh, we have a grandfather clock. We have a grandfather clock, a chicken... A spices, I, I guess? Clothing? Wait. We don't have any grandfather clocks! There's just the picture of a grandfather clock. But not a real grandfather clock. Animals. Four chicken. Food. I don't know where these saves are from. It's just here. Can I trade? Let's go hunting. There. Oh, it just turned into a bear. <laughs> the clock is built into the wagon. It's the future, you know, I splurged on options for this wagon. We'll get a clock, don't worry. I will find somebody with a clock I can get. You, look around. What are you looking at? Nasty Jack, you have to have a clock. Oh, he talks now. Yes? The name's Jack. Yeah. Last names ain't important among friends. And I am your friend, ain't I? Sure are, Jack. Do you happen to see an old buddy of mine? I'm gonna trade. But why would the saves be built onto the disc? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, he doesn't have anything. He's got pocket watches. How about $833 for... One... what does he have? Eggs. One egg for one dollar. Oh, not a good deal, apparently. All of your dollars. What will you take? Nope, you don't want yeast cake? None of this? Nasty Jack will crash the game. He didn't crash the game before, though. Save now. Alright. Let's get out of here. Save. Nasty Jack. Save it. Well. Guess we're here. That's not too far off. The only problem is all the names and characters are different. California Hill. Anything here? No. <laughs> Nothing. Just... Here you go. Here is the JPEG we found on the internet. Use ropes and chains. For what? Wh what's the hill? It looks fine to me. Hey! Going over this giant landfill. Also, Sally Goldsmith, which I guess is Team Red? Is in fair health? Probably. I have no idea. But I guess the teams are still kind of there. Let's look around. Alright, that's... That's a hill. It's true. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. This looks nothing like what I... Oh, Jesus Christ. How... Wait. I thought we were flipping over... no, alright. 
open the save in Notepad and try to change the team names. I don't know where these saves are. So how do I never tip the wagon in this version, but I always shoot myself? Let's rest. What do you think? Dear Aunt Mary... I'm not writing this down. Oh, there we go. Let me tell you a little about our life on the trail. It sucks. The children never seem to tire. Also, they don't they exist. They are full of energy and inquisitiveness. But, you're looking at me? I don't have anything to add. I love the children. Um, it is a joy to me. We don't, we don't have any kids here. stories wait, wait. and keep them busy while their mothers work. There aren't any kids. Why do you keep looking back at me? I don't have anything to add. Why, sometimes I seize the opportunity to teach them a little about the world around them. Read the script, lady. What about the grasshopper? Today we caught oh. a lively grasshopper to study. My life is so interesting. Oh, <laughs> that's it. I caught a bug. The end. That's all we got. <laughs> Conversation's over. Get the hell out of here. Fishing. Wait. I'm, I'm not fishing. Look around. That's a rock. Is, is that it? That's it. Let's rest. Why not? What do you think? My twin sister, Gabrielle, was always my father's favorite. Yeah. And being a flirt, she was also popular with the boys. Well, you know, that's how it goes. After she married, my parents practically gave Gabby and her husband our family farm as a wedding present. Yeah, why would you want that, though? When I decided to you don't go get, like, west. a car or anything? What you gotta do with the farm? Wait, is that it? Is that all you had to say? Alright. Wait, why are we moving? Wait, I thought I had to press a... Wait, wait. I thought I had to press a button to move. Like I had to make a selection. All of a sudden the wagon's just rolling down the hill regardless. These are the plants you found. Make sure you throw away any poisonous ones. I... Uh, okay, I think that's holly and you can't eat that. That's... Uh... Uh... Let's throw this out. What do you look it up? Oh, Lupine. Its pods are poisonous. You must not eat them. Loco weed. Oh, that's the thing. That's great. It's like Final Fantasy VII. Throw it out. So wait, why do we collect the plants that are obviously poisonous? And then bring them back and think, should we eat these? Like, why don't we just not pick them? What's this? Poison hemlock. Oh, is that plantain? That's plantain. All parts of poison hemlock are very poisonous. Got it. What's this? Prickly pear. Its pods are edible. Its pads are edible. Great. Let's keep this and this. This looks nothing like what I just put in there, but that's okay. Options. Done. You picked edible plantain leaves. Edible prickly pear pads. Okay. <laughs> Here's a CGI render of a log cabin. Uh, I guess we'll go into town, but it's not really a town, it's one house. <laughs> well, we're in town. What's in here? Uh, blurry man. Well, how do you do, stranger? It's always a Grandfather clock. to meet a new <laughs> customer. Rastus McTavish, that's me. Oh, it's the modern warfare guy, isn't it? Ain't nothing in this store that ain't absolutely necessary out on the trail. That I'm clock. Telling you, if you ain't got it, you better get it now. You're right. I gotta buy that clock. Enough of this jawing already. <laughs> Let's get doing the business. What are you gonna buy? <laughs> it's very hostile today. Can I... I want to buy the clock. Furniture? Grandfather clock! Two of them! 
Yes! We're back. We're back in business. I bought it, sir. You did good today, McTavish. Let's get out of here. Also, let's save. Oh. Let's let's save after this. Administer peppermint. What's that gonna do? Well, I solved your bad dysentery, Breath. Here you go. Let's save. Nasty Jack. Nick Tavish. There you go. Well, everyone's in good health, except for Jeff Goldsmith. He's got dysentery. That's Team Blue, or it used to be Team Blue until the game crashed. Fort John. Or Laramie. Uh, let's go into town, sure. Oh. Uh, I don't really want to talk to you, but... Greetings, my friend. Greetings. Get me out of here. How fortunate that you should stop here. I am Dr. Phineas Maximinimus Duffy. I also Allow do birthday parties. Share with you a most magnificent medicinal mixture. It's cocaine. You see, during mm. an excursion to the subcontinent of India, yes. I came across an ancient holy man in the city of Bombay. All right. He was touting the benefits of a powerful potion. Dr. Umba Boomba's... And I haven't slept ever since! He called it. Dr. Umba Boomba? Okay, you had to think of a name for an Indian guy. And the best they could come up with for the Oregon Trail is Dr. Umba Boomba. Also, just... Th this might be the single greatest pose in all of the Oregon Trail. That's... That's pretty great. I love it. What do you think? He claimed that a mere spoonful would enable the a person to go, go down. three days no. without food or a drop of water and still enjoy the energy and vitality of a dozen men. <laughs> Can you imagine being the guy that had to act this? Urgh. Men! Uh... Did you break? Uh, yes. Being a learned man of medicine myself, whose animations don't work. Refinements to the recipe, and now I present it to you, Doctor Duffy's elixir. What about Doctor Umba Boomba's elixir? How you might endure this tedious trip if only you had a couple of bottles of this. It's cocaine. Topic. It's Red Bull or heroin. I yes. I will buy all of it, except... Let's see. Well, of course I will trade. Uh -huh. I am open to any reasonable offer. A pound of bacon. All of your Duffy's elixir. I don't know what this is. What is Duffy's elixir? One chicken for 17 bottles? No? That's not good to you? Yeah, he doesn't want a pail. He doesn't... A rifle? Nah. I need four rifles. One set of clothing. We have 18. That's a deal. You got yes, it. Yes, indeed. That trade is of great benefit to us both, I am sure. I'm sorry our set of clothing did not come with a stovepipe hat, but... Oh, wow. That's a very blurry man a very emaciated chicken. Greetings, friend. Hey. Brewster Lamar at your service. Oh, I'm playing Animal Crossing. Say, you ain't got a recent newspaper on you, do you? Listen, here's from July 6th, 1847. Pretty near got her memorized. Uh, did, did you break? Folks that own this here fort, they call it Fort John. Everyone else calls it Fort Laramie. Go figure. It's a sad thing what brung me here. Sure is. Me and my wife, Melanie... We was heading west. Me and my wife, newspaper. Dreams, but Melanie, she got the cholera. Honk, honk. Weren't nothing I could do for her. Sorry, Melanie. <laughs> he just... He just started to get the thing animated, and then he just broke. Uh... 
Well, I'd like to buy something from you, but... You... You kinda died. Uh, I'm just... Oh, I gotta get some salt in case we need to rub it in someone's wounds. Well, nothing to get this memory of my dead wife out of my head than reading this old newspaper. Wait, can I go back in town? Is that the only thing to see? Alright. Looks like a Counter-Strike map. That's it. Now let's go. Also, let's save. Jeff Goldsmith still has dysentery. That's unfortunate. Your stream is so far behind. Well, to be fair, that's sort of been Twitch in general recently. Fire's Natural Bridge. Do we cross it? Like, it just goes into a mountain. Oh. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. <laughs> Look around. Let's zoom into it slightly. Also play this Native American flute. Um, I'm looking at this with my ears? Like, literally, they just zoom in on it. I, I guess we're doing this. God knows where we are. June 5th, 1848. Thick dust. I... I don't know. Let's continue, sure. You'll be fine. Dust doesn't have cholera, does it? Bad mosquitoes. That's, um... Well, I guess it was, like... 1998 when this came out and clip art was still totally fresh. Go fishing, you say? Let's rest with the mosquitoes. What do you think? I heard a fella talking about the trail after church one Sunday. His brother's family was out west and had wrote about how wonderful the land was. Then he died. The end. I mauled on it and mauled on it talk to Sally, and mauled on it some more. Sally doesn't exist, by the way, just let me know. I wanted to give my family a chance at something better than I had growing up. Did you just left them behind? A little girl seemed or? healthy, and when my two sisters agreed to care for mother, well, we decided to go. I wanted to give my family a chance, so I left them behind, never saw mother again. I don't know where you would go and download this game, but there are places where you could buy it. I bought another game, actually, that I was going to play called Coffee Break the Game. Uh, I forget where it came from. It was more money than I'd like to admit paying for a game, which is probably not very good, but you never know. It looked interesting, and I couldn't find anything on the, or, uh, on the internet about it, so hopefully it was worth it. Let me save it again. And I guess we're moving. That's a picture of a wolf, in case you didn't know. Picture of horses. Hopefully the game doesn't crash again. Were there originally two goldsmith people in town? I don't remember them, to be honest. What's on Independence Rock? Nothing. It's, it's a rock. Alright. That was... That was enlightening. Let's rest at the rock. What do you think about rocks? My twin sister, Gabrielle, you already mentioned was this. always my father's favorite. Now, now. No one likes a complainer. Why is my phone beeping? What do you want? being whatsapped. Well, a friend sent me some images of games he had. A picture of Sonic CD on the PC, and also Comic Zone on the PC, which I didn't even know existed. 
thought it was a Genesis only game. Also, someone's got a bad cold. What do we do? The olive oil and vinegar are out of the question. I guess it's fluid intake. Glitch Hound, did you ever tell me about the time you almost killed me on my drive home? No, I haven't actually. News to me. Don't watch streams and drive. You might get a bad cold, shoot yourself, and die of snake bite. Oh man. Jeff Goldsmith, no. Let's rest. You have to survive, Jeff. Dear Mon Pa, I wrote you the same letter last week. Uh, Deep Sand? Three Crossing? I don't know. I'd love to check the guide, but it's not here. Oh, wait, there it is. Deep Sand? Three Crossing. Is that in this? Uh, it might be. Oh, wow. Keeps a diary. I will never read this. Stop. Writing in the diary because writing is for nerds and pencils are too expensive. I guess we're taking this one. Guidebook be damned. What did I think of the civil defense game I bought? Oh, do you mean... The Border Patrol game. That was terrible. That was really bad. Let's check the river conditions. It would be dangerous to try to cross good enough for me. I actually have a copy of Sonic CD on the PC. Somebody sent it to me a while ago, and it doesn't seem to run on anything. No grass for the animals. Pfft, whatever. I don't care if the oxen are crying. They don't have feelings. And the ones that do have feelings we must eat instead. Ready to go. Rest here. Let's rest. What do you think? The children... do not seem to notice the miles we have traveled. That's because they Every don't exist. Every day is an adventure for them. And every night they clamor for me to tell them stories. <laughs> I think she's delusional. Wait, are you... Wait, is that it? Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Let me tell you about the children. That's it. Kids, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Thick dust. Whatever. I have played every version of the PC iterations of the Oregon Trail that exist, I think. Not counting the Apple II one, I haven't played that yet. But everything that runs on DOS or Windows, I think I've played. Also again, here's another picture of a horse going through a puddle. Picture of oxen. Alright. Or maybe they're cows, I don't know. Her children died, but she still sees them. Oh man. That sounds like a much better plot device than I was thinking. Never played the Oregon Trail, but somebody gifted me a copy on Steam. Wait, what? I'm not looking at the South Pass at all. I look around, it gets green, and the trail gets entirely different. Well, that doesn't help at all. Here's a goat. And a mountain. I've played the Amazon Trail. I didn't think it was that great, honestly. Let's see. Uh, let's... Let's go to Fort Bridger. Why not? Let's say hi to people. Independence Day. Um... Do I want to celebrate the 4th? Is that... Playing a harmonica? I can't tell. It's like eating a metallic ear of corn. Well, I guess we'll celebrate. Why not? Celebrate for one day. 
That's it. Wait, is this... Is this a celebration? Yeah! Ooh, dear Ma and Pa, let's talk about my cows and America. My dear Ma and Pa, every morning we milk our that, messy. That's not a very good celebration. I found that if I pour the extra milk in a pail and hang it off the back of the wagon, you're supposed to party. It's July Fourth. The trail will make a little butter by the end of the day. Ugh. You ruined America. There's no patriotism on this wagon. It's just dust. I've never played the Yukon Trail. That's true. Oh man, we're going over nuclear waste. Oh God. Uh, yeah, let's let's just continue. Walk through the fire. It's fine. If you slow down, only then will you catch fire. Show the map. We are here. I I don't know where this is. Oops, I don't want to see this. I do want to save. Oh, that's not the save button. Save, save, go back. Close. Back. That one. There you go. I found a hand in my plant! Oh, wow. What is this? Elderberry. You can eat them. With a little sugar, they make a great pancake syrup. We're starving to death. Let's make pancake syrup. What's this? Everts thistle. It's edible. Perfect! What's this? I don't know. Is that edible? I didn't look it up. They're smelly, but edible. I know that feeling. What's this? Monk shoed. Monk shoed? Is that a word? Do not eat. It's poisonous. Throw it out. You picked stuff. Proud of myself. Let's go hunting. Oops. Well. Okay. Shot myself. Again. Oh, is it read as Monk's Hood? Not Monk Shoot. That would make sense. That would make. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense, actually. Monk's hood. Right from salt in it. Look, man. If you're gonna be shot, you might as well just go all the way and rub salt in that wound. Rub some monk shoot in it. Check the river conditions. Three and a half feet. Let's take the ferry. I'm riding my front porch across the river. And then we crash. Also, here's a picture of a dude. Juliet Sims is suffering from a gunshot. The restorative powers of Monk Shoot will save her. We need to save again. We do. Let's go into town. What do you think? Welcome, traveler! My name is Carlos Marquez. Hmm. I have many things to sell or trade. Oh, you're the sombrero Can I guy. Doing something today. The more you buy, the more my burro thanks you. I wish I could Once roll you my arms. Take hours. off my hands. You take off my burro's back. Yeah, dude. He, thing is just totally crushed under the weight of a single boot and a hat. Wait, is that it? You want a words? No, you're just busted. Does a burro love his feedback? Of course! Let us trade! Uh, yes? No? I I will buy your sombrero. And I bet you will trade it for an anvil, but why? I will trade you a sombrero for two eggs! A sombrero for a chicken? Really? I thought that'd be a good deal. How about uh, a hammer, a harmonica, 
a bottle of hydrogen peroxide, two bottles of hydrogen, a, a kettle, a pound of nails, a box of matches, a set of utensils, two sets of three, four sets of utensils, no, shoes, box of soap, an axle, a yoke, a yoke won't work, an axle will, a wheel will, spearmint will not, a sack of sugar, a bottle of sulfur, you know what, screw your hat, I don't even want it. Hello. Oh man! Another claymation pig. Good day to you, friend. My name is Harmony, Harmony Paxton. It's so nice to make your acquaintance. Higginbottom. Jubilation Higginbottom. You may be interested to know the history of this place. I also want to know who named it. was established by Jim Bridger. The king of the mountain men. Ooh. Mr. Bridger built this fort as a business venture when fur trading became more competitive and less Don't profitable. you think you should wrap your loaves of bread up instead of just leaving them out? Many of our visitors are Mormons. Latter-day Saints. They head south from here on their way to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what direction that is in terms of where we are, but okay. There are those who say the Mormons are unreliable Ooh. but I find them to be no different from anyone else it's a very progressive game you see please excuse me I have other matters to which I must attend like what you, you brought it up do you have a grandfather clock oh you do not oh you do but I don't have any money what do you have in terms of animals I have eight oxen let's get ten Perfect. Oh, no. Oh, I do have ten. Never mind. Bought it. Let's rest the day. Talk to you. I heard a fella talking about the trail after church once. He already mentioned this. Been there, done that. Let's go. Thick dust. Deal with it. So I'm going to say the two versions of the Oregon Trail that really matter are 2 and 3. I think this is alright. Because 4 was exactly the same as this one, just with different CGI bits, and 5 was exactly the same as 2, except the weirdo cartoons. Are we stuck? Oh. It's the wagon caught fire again. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, note to self, don't walk through the fire. Administer grease. Well, my man, this guy caught fire. Let's grease him up. I, I guess treat with an antiseptic? Probably. I, I, I don't know. We've got Rambo in our party now. Things could be worse. Look, you never know. Oh. <laughs> no, you're still on fire. Don't get in the wagon now. <laughs> what is this face? Everyone's arms look like they're just on hinges, like they're weird robots. Also, I swear. <laughs> this face. It's fantastic. Oh, no. Look at the lips. Like, what are these lips supposed to be? It's like they're facing the wrong direction as everything else. Let's put the fire out. Oops. You lost aloe vera. An axe? The bacon burned? I don't know. Call that cooking, to be honest. Etc. Ah, whatever. It'll be fine. Also, here's a prairie dog. It exists. Thought you should know. Please insert CD3. Okay. I'm on it. Disc, 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 disc. Did it work? Let's rest. For one day's. Check the clocks. Oh, I gotta talk to you first. How fearsome are the storms on the prairies. 
We suffer terror in our hearts, lest the cracks of thunder bring the whole world crashing down nice on us. nice if we can just rain our fires All out. All that separates us from a thorough drenching is a flimsy layer of canvas. Yesterday, we were afflicted with hailstones big as marble. Actually, yesterday the wagon caught fire, so no, I don't think that both happened. For the sake of the little ones. The there aren't any kids. an awesome spectacle. We never saw its like back home. I can only look in wonder as it darts its jagged paths over the vast prairie. Uh, I don't have a P.O. box anymore. Don't send anything to the old P.O. box. I'm not on campus anymore. I don't know who owns it, but... There, there is no place to send anything at the moment. I guess we'll go. Oh, actually, let me check the grandfather clock first. Okay, we still have two grandfather clocks. We'll never dump one, though. Alright, we're good. Grandfather clock survived, Sarah Danford has been burnt forever, and Juliet Sims is still bleeding out from her accidental gunshot. But that's fine. Builds character. All that stuff. Big hill. What are the hill's conditions? It's steep. Alright. Yep, that's a hill. Is that it? Well, let's go, I guess. Downhill. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at this face! <laughs> what is this expression? I don't think next do this. No! Do you want to get the wagon upright? I guess? I don't have a choice, really. Yes. I do. You lost dried beans. Well, pick them up. I mean, the wagon flipped over. It's not like the beans got ruined. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, I turned into a goblin. <laughs> what? What what happened to me? Um I uh, What happened to my finger? What happened to everything? I, I I guess we'll keep you active and hope you don't eat us for something. <laughs> Green on solo. You know you're pretty close. Sure. Who's that? Jeff Goldsmith. <laughs> I was gonna tell you something. Then I broke. Then it was possessed by Satan. My eyes rolled back in my skull and I just have nothing to say. Oh, alright. Let's go look for plants. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, what's this? It's berries are poisonous. Oh, huckleberries. Edible and tasty. Delicious. Are those huckleberries? Those are huckleberries. Keep them. What's this? Red currant. Edible. Delicious. Keep it. What's this? What would you even eat on this? Common milkweed. Milkweed shoots are edible. I thought milkweed was poisonous. Whatever. Keep it. What's this? Creeping Oregon Grape. They taste better if cooked. Whatever. Keep it. Delicious. Perfect. Let's save. Let's hop on the train. How's our dude turning into a goblin? Jeff Goldsmith. He is still alright. And for the record again, this is Team Red, Blue, Green, and Pink. They used to have names, and the game crashed, and they all sort of lost them. Let's go hunting. Why not? This is why the buffalo is endangered. That was me. Wait, how am I... How did I miss every one of these? Am I that bad of a shot? 
Are they bulletproof? Is the bullet drop in this game? Is anything happening? Nope. All right, well, they just don't die. You can only carry back 375 pounds. Ah, whatever. They deserved it. <laughs> They're eating the dead one. Hey, Jeff Goldsmith is in excellent condition ever since he got that concussion. He's like a new Jeff Goldsmith. Yeah, look around. Why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> look around. We'll take the uh, UI elements. Oh, if only dreams could come true. Last night, yeah. I dreamt I ate a mess of green beans for supper and a cherry pie for dessert. Well, we don't have any of those. Let's look for edible cherry pies. Maybe they're just there on the trail. You never know. Sunflowers. Can you eat them? Well, you can eat the seeds. That's true. Keep it. What's this? Lamb's quarters. Like the hind quarters? Uh, it's edible. Sure. Keep it. I, whatever this is. Stinging nettle. You can get a painful rash. Better eat that. And green. Henbane. Its berries are poisonous. Do not eat. Done. Cook them first? Why do they notify me about that? I don't have a choice to cook them. Unless it's like if I were going to go out and cook these. Maybe that's why it's an educational game. I once found a cherry pie tree in Utah. Again, here's a puddle. In case you're curious. We traveled... The vegetables Wait, what? and fruit are gone. Well... Uh, Okay, I just got them. Did someone steal them? I don't, what is this? <laughs> this doesn't look like a fruit. Oh, Clintonia. Alright. Sure. I'm glad they named this after our president 150 years in the past. What's this? Yampa. I love Yampa. Loco weed. Ah, oh, can't eat loco weed. You can cook and eat it, but beware of the poisonous death camas, whose bulbs look very similar. Eh, let's eat it. Delicious. Let's have a meal of Clintonia tonight. Mmm. Clintonia Goronia, 1848 present. That's my ticket. Are we stuck? Are we moving? No, we're moving. This isn't. I've had no fruit or vegetables in many a day. No, you just Last had night, them! I dreamt of apples as big as pumpkins and crisp, crunchy carrots fresh from the ground. You eat your Clintonia and you'll like it. Deadline. Can I eat that? Oh, sorry. Salsify. Not dandelion. Keep it. Death camus. You must not eat any part of this plant. But what if I do? I, I kind of want to know. Yeah, let's keep it. Will you die if you eat death camus? What's this? Buttercup. Don't eat it. What's this? Violet. Eat it. What if you eat the death camus? Wait, what? But I was eating it. Um. Why are the buffalo eating our food? No water. That's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> God dreams damn it! True. What do you want from me? This looks edible, probably. Raspberry. Fine. What's this? Lupine. Don't eat them. What's this? Loco weed. 
Well, it's this. I can eat that. Can, can I just open the guide and it just says, eat this or don't eat this? That's all I care about. What's in this place? Fort Hall. Hello, JPEG lady. Oh, hello! I was so busy knitting my mitten, I didn't see you. My name's Amanda, what's I didn't what's see you, petting my kitten. Other things that rhyme with itten. We get lots of fur traders Do you have any coming fruit? in here. That Hudson Bay Company ships furs from here all over the world. That's what they say. Yes? All my life, I wanted to see the ocean. I'm saving up my money. Couple more years and I'll be heading to the coast. She's You'll missing a it. hand, is she? I can't tell. When I get there, first thing I'm gonna do is take off my socks and boots and put my toes right in the water. Gross. Well, I suppose you're wanting to buy some things. No, please, just continue. If you don't see what you're looking for, just ask. We might have some in back. I would love fruits. Fruits. What do you have? Oh, no one has fruits or vegetables. Okay, give me all your potatoes. Uh, 18, uh, 18 times 20, that's what? Uh, 60. What is that? 100. 360 pounds of potatoes? Buy it. There. If anyone complains about not having vegetables anymore, well, I've taken care of it. Oh, what's in here? Oh, same thing. Can it go in the window? No. So this is this building, which is also... What? Okay, so the log cabin is the trading post, but it's also the mason building? How are they connected? I don't know. Ready to go. Let me save again. Save. Save. Good. Man, everyone is in decent health at least. No one's dying. Oh man, buffalo. Potatoes are a tuber. You know, it's a vegetable. It's a vegetable now. Look, it's Oregon. They weren't that picky. They just ate their french fries and liked it. It's not a meat, it's a vegetable. There you go. What's here? Let's rest for one day. How fearsome are the storms on the prairie? You mentioned this already. Thick dust. Too bad. Is the Klondike Trail a real game? I've never heard of it. I've never heard of the Klondike Trail. Cave paintings. Fallen rocks. You're just looking at the cave paintings on the rocks and suddenly, oops, they all fell over on my face. I don't know, let's clear it. Well, that was easy. We did it. Kanaka Rapids. Look around. Yep, that's the Kanaka Rapids, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, you just zoomed into it slightly. What am I supposed to say? How fierce Can you say something else? Are we rafting? No. Gold Eye Gabby never rafts. Can I play Cross Country Canada? You know, I've heard of that game. Never played it, though. Oh, great. Prairie's on fire again, right? Every time this video thing comes up, something catches fire. No, I guess not. Not today. Three islands. One, two. Three. Well... That was worth it. Uh, Fort Boise? I am going to Oregon, right? I really don't remember. Well, no one's complained about not having vegetables. Thank God for potatoes. Oh man, more buffalo. Why would you not want it? Oh God, what? It's like a buffalo parade. 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. No, come back. Hmm. Is that it? Oh well. I'll fire off some shots to celebrate. Oops. Better rub salt in that celebration. As I was celebrating killing all those buffalo, I accidentally shot. Wait. Accidental gunshot. Oh, Jeff Goldsmith. Sorry, Jeff. My bad. Didn't mean it. You're in the way of my celebrating. <laughs> bad cold. Ah, yeah, whatever. You'll be fine. You got this angry lady to take care of you. Yeah, thank God for Salt Nature's cure all. That's what it's good for. Everything. Oh man, Fort Boise. It's almost like a real picture. Hello. Howdy. That's how they say hello in these parts. Oh, really? I'm trying to get used to it. In St. Louis, we usually just say hello. I'm Dr. Duncan Gaps, a genuine MD. Hmm. Is, is that it? I... You, you broke. Uh, hello? Hello? Caring for so I'm many a doctor and moving correctly. I'm can leave me rather confused. Like telling one illness from another. They don't teach you everything in medical school, you know. They teach you how to rub salt and things. Is that it? That's it. Sure. I'll try my luck. Let's trade. I will trade you one jar of aloe vera for two jars of aloe vera. No thanks. A barber kit? Well, I guess he would have one. Uh, a bunch of stuff I don't really want. For one dollar. For three dollars. No, he's not doing it. Uh, can I move around? No, he's... Oh, no, here we go. Hmm. Just practicing for a game of five-card stud tonight. What do you want? Is that a giant knife? <laughs> what do you think? You got about 500 miles if you're going to Oregon City. Some rough trail ahead. Ah, oh, it hurts to talk like this. Hello, Wishes Jones, the name. That's not a name. What's the matter? You ain't never heard nobody called Jones no, that, before? That's not the problem. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. Well, anyhow. Most folks calls me Shorty. Oh. Count I ain't the tallest guy you ever saw. I, I really can't tell, given the perspective of everything. And I ain't really no clerk, neither. Bounty hunter. Mule skinner. Throat sandpaperer. Chain smoker. This here's just a tied me over, you know what I mean? I like how the thing he was sitting on originally was just green screened out. Oh, he doesn't have anything to say. Why do I have a hundred feet of chains? Hey, you never know. You'll never know. Oh man, East Cal Hollow. We got a new cow today. Oh wow, it's a perfect a place. For. We found her bellowing by the roadside, left for lane. The bottoms of her feet were so bloody and sore, she could barely take a step. She was delicious. Is that it? Is it? Oh. Oops. I call her Socks. Great. That's a good name. Oh, hey, wait, no, go back. There's a dude there. I. Oh. Eat the acorns. Let's just eat them. Delicious. I guess we'll never find out what the other dude says. Oh no, cholera! It's back. Uh, salt water it is. Oh, death. But what? <laughs> death of who? <laughs> Just death in general. I realized the concept of my own mortality, and I'm mourning for my loss of innocence. I guess. 
I don't know what happened. Um. Uh, I guess I'll bury you. Who who died? Nope, that that was Jeff Goldsmith. Sorry, Blue. Blue's dead. Sorry, Blue. I I would have done something, but you just you just died. Let's rest at the farewell bin. We'll say farewell to Blue. My dear Mon Pa, Jeff has had a change of heart about the Indians. He expected them to be Jeff savage, is a racist bastard. The Indians we've met along the way have impressed him. All right. They helped us find water for the oxen today. Yeah, Team Blue also died today. I can't help not think that's related. That safe for eating. I picked some for dinner. But why are you telling me this? I thought you were writing it. Huh? Hey, oh. Who are you? Where did you come from? You're not in our party. What did you say, I wonder? What? I got me this book. Alright. Sometimes I just take it out and look at it. It's blank. One day, I'm gonna learn me to read and write. Alright. And then, I'm gonna read all I can find about that place called Africa. Yep. I'm gonna learn me about that place. Good on you, kid. Is that it? I'm gonna get stuck in my animation. Hey. I've been getting a mean eye from some of the paws of the gals who've taken a fancy to me. But the gals <laughs> liking me ain't what's got the old men all head up. I don't think they like the way you talk. Might they just it. know they ain't never gonna have the gold or be rich like me. Yeah. Let one of them show They wish they could afford a tin I'll cup like that. All I will. You'll whip them all. That's probably why they don't like you hanging around with their daughters. Save the game. That's a good point. I'll trade. What you got? I don't know. You have a whip. No, you don't. I'm gonna take your tin cup. I will trade you two tin cups for one tin cup. That would be dumb. How about sulfur for sugar for cup? Hmm. Wheel for a cup. A sick ox for a cup. Here you go, drink out of this. I helped. Boy, that sure sounds like a fair trade to me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do it. Here's your diseased animal, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. I should save. Oops. I should save. I should save. Save. Yeah, pause hate him. Find out this greenhorn secret that gets them all riled up. Poor Jeff Goldsmith. Hardly knew him. Oh, this bone chilling cold is intolerable. Oh dude! It's the I need thing! Blankets. It's uh the 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 thing. It's the Twilight Princess Yeti lady. It's it's this thing. The little Yeti wife. Totally the same thing. Huh? No? Oh. Close enough. Go make some soup in that mansion. It'll be fine. Perfect! Alright, forget it. Continue as usual. It's fine. It's nine degrees. Bad cold. Eh. More fluid, I guess. I don't know who's sick. <laughs> this cold is so extreme it's frozen my jaw. Oh, uh, well, I guess we're going anyway. Let's let's rest. What do you think? I visited with some women after supper today. I should say tried to visit. Because, because they were I dead. Could barely finish a sentence without some interruption. 
Mm. First, Mary's daughter needed to drink of yeah. water. First. Then Sarah's son had to be pulled out of the way of a horse. <laughs> what a jerk. Then Esther's husband came by looking for her to mend his pants. Oh, God, Esther. God. And all the while, these women were stacking up dishes and banging their pots How and dare they? And I could scarcely make myself heard. Honestly. As if I didn't have better things to do with my time. Let's just kill them. God, what do you think? Alright, Doc. What about you? Are you a lady? My Daniel in heaven. I, I think? The good Lord took you away from me too soon. Who are you? Wish you were here right now with me. You would know what to do, Daniel. Don't worry, I'm on this. I hear talk. Oh. I hear talk about whites not letting me stay in Oregon. A man of white, it's totally cool. Wish their foot there someday soon. Blessed Mother of God, help me! Would you like to trade? Is, is this a bad time? I. We. Oui. I will trade. Oh, well. There you go. Just gotta break the ice. I'm all about those dried vegetables, let me tell you. 97 five pound sacks of vegetables. I will trade you for some chain. No. Canteen. Candles? I don't know. What do you. What do you like? Do you like cups? Plates? I, I bet you're a. Wagon wheel lady. Yeah. How about a wagon tongue? How about two axles? Three axles? Eh, let's try to trade something I might have a spare for. Trade some forks? Trade some soap? Alright, fine. Two wheels. There you go. We. Oui. Yeah. Good. Good. It is a trade. I think those were words. Hope the wheel doesn't break. That would be embarrassing. This bitter cold could kill you. Oh. Well. No, it won't. It's 24 degrees. It's fine. See, here's a picture of a Native American. I can cross on the ice. This river has ice on it. <laughs> like, what, is it frozen over? Is there an ice cube in it? Uh, I guess we're crossing. This doesn't look like a river at all, because why are there trees on it? Also, here's a, maybe a beaver? Look around. Yep, that's green. How's the hill? Icy and fairly steep. It's not, really. Oh well. What year did the glitch get to? Uh, thirty something thousand. Then it underflowed, and went negative. I left it on for this like bitter thirty six hours. This bitter cold could kill you. All right. Well. Okay. No one's in bad health, really. <laughs> That's a great expression. I'm just walking here and the tree fell over, I don't know. I just continue over. Ain't nothing. Doe Canyon. Let's let's rest. Bitter cold kill me, you know. I was trained by the finest doctor in Maryland. Uh -huh. And he taught me everything worth knowing about sickness. Like rubbing medicine. salt on the wound. There were many young women who envied my opportunity. But I'm the best. I was more than his nurse. I was his confidant and friend. I brought him coffee. He begged me to stay in Maryland and help him with his practice. But how could I? Well, why not? Once married, his new wife was forever sashaying around the office. Killer. Distracting us both from our work. Oh, kill her. She wasn't worthy of him at all. Kill her. He could have done much better. I mean, you're the doctor. Just poison her or something. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I already talked to you. You got the book. I find hot tea to be the most refreshing beverage. I cannot think what I would do without it. 
Would you like to take tea with me? Sure. What is this? Oh, that's the trade icon you're covering up. Oh. <laughs> you must always warm the pot before you make the tea. Oh, oh I thought you just drank it cold. And the water must be boiling. Tea should always be drunk with a little milk. Look, lady, we're on the Oregon Trail, okay? No one's showered in months. Why do we have to obey proper tea procedure? What, is that... You're not gonna serve me? You're not gonna... No? Alright, fine, I'll just... I believe we can complete a trade to our mutual satisfaction. Do you even have tea? Give me all of your tea. I will trade you an anvil. Perfect! That offer would be most satisfactory. Why... Why would you need an anvil? All you do, you're programmed to talk about one thing, and that's tea. That's it. Why would you trade it for an anvil? When you make an anvil, the pot has to be warm. Make the best anvil tea you've ever seen. Yep, that's the thing. Glad I stopped. Ready to go. There's an animal. I don't know what it is. It's a walking fuzzy meat thing. Uh, going to town. Sure. Hey. Boy, am I glad to see That's you. That's not the voice I thought would come out of you. Oh. I'm Private Walter Davis, U.S. Army, 4th Cavalry. Well, I'm on leave now, headed back to see my family. But boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops, I broke. It's in the witness protection program, which just blurs his face and says nothing. What? The, what? Give me the willies when I seen it. What? What is happening? Are you talking? D do you need a hand? Are, no. Are, no. I guess you're just stuck. Uh, I think this place might be haunted. <laughs> no, n no one's gonna animate. Nothing. Let's try this again. Yes, I am Natalia. Got it. You want something to buy? Well, that is barely a Russian accent. Oh, uh, I'm broken. Please. I am Russian. My husband and I, we wanted to make a new life. We wanted to go to Oregon City. Is this but a German accent? Against us. Bad things happen on the trail. Snow, wind and dust. Me. Mosquitoes. Then bandits stole our wagon. Now, here I am, working in this store. Doing everything I can, pretending I'm a superman. We must do business. Also, I broke. 36 bucks. Can I buy a grandfather clock? No. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's save. There. A Ben wagon. I. Yeah, let's search it. Could be something. You didn't find anything useful. Ah. You could have taken the wheels off, though. Friday, October 27, 1848. Everyone's in decent health except for Jeff Goldsmith, Team Blue, who's dead. Also, there's this. Let's rest the day. Hey. Blessings and mercies daily attend us. We are making good progress to Oregon. I'll give it time. The game will crash again. What do you think? During the day, I'm seeing things new to me. And why I left was to do that. Mm. But at night, by the fire, I hear words and stories you that are new have to a me. Fire. I like many of them. It, I too like stories. I already talked to you. 
My Daniel in heaven. I'm sorry. This is just awkward for both of us. <laughs> this is my cold face. Uh, let's continue. Happy Halloween. Your costume is a freezing lady. It'll be fine. It's 41 degrees. It is so cold that my breath freezes in the air, and I must wear a muffler to protect my face. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. Just go in your little cocoon blanket and you'll be a beautiful butterfly by spring. It'll be great. It'll be fine. And besides, that was even the warmest day. It was like 40-something degrees out there. Oh, God. Frostbite. Better rub it with snow. Well, I could. It's not a great idea, but it is very tempting. Hmm. Well, she's gonna murder me in my sleep. Her hands are too cold for that. Rub with snow. Rub with snow. Okay. Oops. Rubbed it too hard. Knock them out, Nover. You know how it is. Let's clear it. No. Oh. Let's continue. Oh. Let's find another path. Oh. Let's wait. Hey. I was oh. trained by the Already heard this. Already heard this. Already heard this. People have terrible stories. Also, rubbing the frostbite with snow seemed to somehow make it go away. Either that or it did. Can't be sure. With shattering effect from Scooby-Doo. Have we moved at all? Are the rock's still in the way? Oh no, the characters from the Archie comic are sick. Increase fluid intake. Go. They have their medicinal Twinkies on their foreheads. They'll be fine. Oh god! <laughs> a missing person. Oh, so this one turned into a zombie. I think if you look like this, you probably should just remain missing. Um... I, I guess we'll find a search party. That's kind of terrifying. The Dalles. I don't know. Oh no, it's rafting time! Better save. Let's see. Let's look around. Before we die. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Sir. You got two choices. Now you can take the toll road without a I recorded this on a telephone. Dollars. Or you can raft down the river. If, if you do the rafting yourself, instead hmm. of hiring a guide, it don't cost nothing, huh? but it might could kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love death. The road was built by a Mr. Samuel K. It's not really Barley a road, is it? It's just sort of dirt. Old Sam figured overlanders like yourself might want to go on a nice general Are you patronizing road me? A, a dangerous river. I'm going down the river. Don't make no never mind to me what you do. The roads kind of slow going, mm. but it's a first hot safer than running them rapids. Uh, what? What is? What is your face? Oh. Can can you? Can you pop your eyes back in your socket, please? You're you're kind of scaring me. Now don't get me wrong. Thousands of folks have rafted down the river. And died. <laughs> it's a real exciting ride, according to some I've talked to. Now you can shave four or five days off your journey going down the river. Stop doing that with your face. Are you done? You're done. All right. Sure thing. Meeting as many folks. I don't want to do this. Okay, let's save. Crash a bunch. See if we make it. 
river crashing fun tie. Fun tea. Good enough. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Oh god, what is happening? Oh, this isn't so bad. Oh, ooh. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, oh, Jesus. It's just sort of pulling me into stuff. Oh, turn. What are you doing? Hey, watch it. Ouch. That was a nasty rock. Did I hit something? I... Am I stuck? I... Um... Uh... Um... There we go. I think. Oh no. Actually out in the middle of the Pacific right now. Ooh. That way. Uh, that, that way. Uh, uh, oh god. Got this. We got this. No bro. Watch the iceberg. Hey, watch it. You hit something. They're really not that concerned. Oh god. How does going straight go so many other directions? Turn, turn, straight, straight. Don't hit the thing. Where does this end? There's no map. I, uh, am I supposed to just pull over? Oh, no, I just won. Go around the lap. Yeah, sure. Let's go around the rapids by land. <laughs> we had but a little meat left, and now it is all gone. We're eating you. Eh, let's go hunting. How hard could that be? Oh man, nature. Is that it? Kill the squirrel. Really? There we go. Squirrel's mine. Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? That's probably all of it. That's good enough. Hey, here's an animal. McCord Creek. What do you think? I visited with some women at I already the talked about that. What do you think? I shall tell of the hardships suffered. Mm. Of the heat. And the first and Are you the covering up the trade food. icon? I shall tell of the noble struggles to overcome dreadful obstacles. And of those who died. Oh, man. Without ever seeing their... Some deep stuff, man. Land. What about you? I've been getting the mean eye from some of the... I've been picking up gas. chicks. <laughs> Let's go. Got this one lady talking about her deep feuder ambitions. And just the human condition. And then that other dude. Perfect. How did Blue die? I don't know. They got cholera and then died after I hit the fix them button. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess I can just go straight. I don't have to do anything. Nothing here, for once. It's like I'm really rafting. Um, I, I'm literally not even touching the mouse. In fact, both of my hands are off the computer entirely. Dude, I should probably move there. Oh, there we go. Well. This is, uh, surprisingly manageable. I did it. Let's rest. What do you think? My dear- I already said that. What do you think? I already read that. What do you think? I find hot tea to be the most refreshing- I've talked to all these people! I cannot think what I would do without it. Would you like to take tea with me? Just an accent smorgasbord here. Well, let's see if well, there's more rafting or if we're done. Ready to go. 
Oh no, I guess we're done rafting. For now. Oregon City. Oh, we made it. I guess... Let's settle. Welcome! Welcome! I have no shadow and my pants are transparent. This is the Oregon City Land Grant Office. I'm the office manager here. My job is to figure out a place for you to live. Mmm. It's giving me the stink eye. Now a lot of settlers have already arrived yeah, here. We'll just push but it out of the, the way. Oregon territory is big. There's still plenty of room for newcomers like yourself. Oh, thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Even so, I don't go giving out big parcels of land to just anybody. But do, do you See, own we're trying to establish all of Oregon? A solid community here. So what we're doing is we're giving the best land to the folks we think will make the most of it. I like to judge people, rank them from best to worst. How do we do that? Well, the way we figure it, the more successful so you are. So if I shoot trail, him, I get all of the it. The more right? successful you're going to be as a settler. Hmm. Did I shave today? For example, how long did it take you to get well, I here? I could lie about that. What kind of shape is your wagon a in? A wagon shape, I how guess. How good is your health? It's fine. These things help me predict how well you're going to do in your new life here. Hmm. I don't like your suspenders. So? I suppose you're anxious to find out where you're going to live. Well, let's step outside so I can take a look I at the I can wagon. put you right next to the garbage dump. Well, come on! I really don't know what your pants are doing. They're, like, fading in and out of existence. I understand that one of your original party passed away on the trail. Nah, he deserved it. My sincere condolences. Traveling all the way across country is dangerous. God damn it, Death Blue. Death is all too common. You're killing Still, us. Still, one must look on the bright side. You're fortunate that your health appears to be very good. Wait, you didn't finish we your like sentence. to see that. It means you'll be able to get right to work and help to us build. I can tell that you're <laughs> in good build. spirits. That's a good sign. In my experience, a happy traveler becomes a successful set. Mm, you successful don't seem set. to have mm. much in the way of cash. Now, I'm but not I'm rich saying in you spirit. won't be able to accumulate some wealth over the years, but for now, you won't be able to afford to manage a big piece of property. Oh, you take that back. Well, now you've arrived with a pretty good stock of supplies. I've seen folks with more, but what you Why have make me feel be bad about to everything. get you off to a good start, good here. It took you. You did a good job, but other people did better. Here. Is like you know. Maybe you just weren't in a hurry, or maybe you had some problems. The problems, period. General problems. Congratulations. Ten you acres. You're in good shape. Now, you don't have the means to manage a big piece of property, but I've picked out a nice little parcel of ten acres for you. That's it. Enjoy your new life in the or... In the or... Great, guys, we got ten acres of pristine or... That was totally worth coming all the way here. Ten acres. Here it is. Oh. This is where the credits live. We have to share these 10 acres with all of these people. Oh. Thank you, Dick Sisko, for being a fishing consultant. All other photos by Corel Corporation. Wagon parting characters. Who did I tear fillets up? No, it's too fast. Guys, scroll the credits faster. They don't want us to know who worked on this. Go, go, go. Keep moving. Visit our worldwide website. I'd love to. Wait, are these looping? Oh no. It's just going again. Sue Miner. That's a name. Robert Bill. Hmm. Can I just skip the O? Wait, that's it? That's. That, that's really the grand ending? Well, that that was the Oregon Trail, third edition. The moral is that you could have as many friends or as much stuff as you want, but if you're poor, you're never gonna make it out very well. Ten acres, that's all we got. Because I didn't have any money. Because I spent all my money on Oregon things, which I thought was probably the good idea, but... Oh well. Whatever. So, 
That was Oregon Trail 3rd Edition. So, today, I was looking for a new game to play, something I haven't played before. In addition to this, I was looking for something new. And I thought of that one game I played over the summer, My Boyfriend 2. And I did a bit of Googling and I found something... something. It's something I've never seen before. Jesus. Something I've never seen before.